They're calling toilet roll comfy soft now. You can't be calling it comfy soft, otherwise you might as well be calling apples juicy reds. I have been to the gym how many times? Once. I knew that I probably wasn't going to be going back for a second time when, as I was getting undressed, I made eye contact with a man. The eyes, windows to the soul. I can see his window to the soul, put it away. And he nodded. Don't nod. I'm naked. A nod can just be a high, but when we're naked, the first time that I ever had to publicly express my strength was when I was in a school production of Little Shop of Horrors and I was Seymour. Here's me acting. Czechoslovakia. More acting. I told you, it just wilts like this. Just all acting. If you're unfamiliar with the plot of Little Shop of Horrors, it is about a guy called Seymour. He's got glasses. And a girl called Audrey doesn't have glasses. And a massive alien plant. Now! Definitely no glasses. The casting process went like this. Who's got glasses? You got the part. The final scene has the massive alien plant killing Audrey, who is my love of my life. EP out soon. Oh boy. And because of symbolism, I had to lift her into the plant's mouth. I have never received more booing from teachers than when in the rehearsal, as I was about to lift her, I said, I probably won't be able to do this, by the way, I'm not very strong. I'm just accounting for puberty. Acting again. So I lifted her, still not being very strong, and I dropped her. It wasn't just a clean and simple straight down drop to the floor though, because I tried to recover from the drop in midair. As she fell, I fell. <laughs> I tried to fall quicker so I could act as a cushion to smooth her gently into the ground. Look like we've both been shot. I think I've hurt my back, she said. I've hurt my dignity, love. Thankfully, I only dropped her another six times. <laughs> There's only so many times that you can hear from your teachers. You're not very strong, are you, Miles? Said with a little smile. I'm giving up my lunch break here to do this. I'm dropping girls in my lunch break. When you're acting, you have to stay in character. You have to make people believe that they're watching real characters and real love blossom and real massive alien plants. So when it got to that scene where I had to lift her dead body into a plant on the night of the actual performance, I think both of us... Forgot about that. I went to lift her, she whispered, don't worry, I'll do it. And then continued to crawl as a dead person into the mouth of the plant. And I just had to blindly follow just with my arms, just sort of close to her, just trying to fool the audience. I'm lifting her, I'm lifting her, I'm lifting her. Don't worry, I'll do it. No, I will worry. I haven't just dropped you six times in rehearsal to not drop you a seventh in front of an audience. It shouldn't be, but it can be annoying when you can't do something and somebody shows you how to do the thing you can't do very well. Five people, including my drama teacher, demonstrated how to lift her better than me. A year seven did it. An 11 year old. My Oh, this is how you do it. Yeah, all right, Timmy, sit down. Like this, bend. Bend at the knees, bend at the feet. Use your feet. Use your feet. That's the only thing I am using. Lift from your feet. What sort of advice is that? Lift from your feet. If I'm not lifting from my feet, I'm literally just standing here, just moving my arms up. Czechoslovakia. Right. 